Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the problem B of code forces round 770, which is fortune telling. So, first of all, we'll discuss the problem statement. So, uh, the, the problem is telling us that uh, we are given with uh, a array of n numbers and we are given with a non-negative number D. What we do is we have to, we, we can perform two possible operations for a single uh, element of, for each element of that array A. What you can do is you can replace that number with D plus AI or you can replace that number with Ds or AI. Okay. By doing this, you will get a final number. So let's say Y. So what the, it is telling is that there are two uh, person, uh, allies, who is starting, who is doing that operation by starting with X. And Bob is doing it by X plus C. These are the two numbers. If Elias is doing with X, then Bob is doing with X plus C. Okay. Now what it is give, given is that uh, uh, you are given with the final number Y, which we are getting. And you are given with the initial number D. Now you have to check that if that, num if that operations are followed, uh, are done by Elias or are that operations are done by Bob means that initial number is of Bob or is was it of allies. This is what you have to find. So there is uh, this problem is a o, o observation based problem. Okay, this is not a DP problem, it's not a greedy, it is just an observation based problem. Check. Okay. Bit, bit manipulation problem you can say. Uh, so what it is uh, doing is that uh, uh, let's say first of all we will check a similarity between Okay, two similarities between what? We'll check two similarities between Zor and and. Okay, so between what? Between a Zor operation. Okay, and and operation. We will get, we will uh, talk about two similarities. So the two similarities are that when we are doing zor of 1 and 1 then the answer is 0 and when we are doing addition of 1 and 1 then also that particular bit on which 1 and 1 are added is 0 means the last bit if we if you check okay so if we just if we just consider the last bit means the leftmost bit of a particular number, for example, the number is 1011. So, if we check the last bit only. If we check the last bit of a binary number, then in that case, if there are even number of ones, if there are even ones in that last, because there is, if we have four ones, 1111, one, 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 then also the zero is zero. And then also in the addition we will get zero here okay i hope you understand if we check the last bit only the answer of this will be this if we add these four ones but the last bit is zero no maybe we have to just consider the last bit only okay if there are even number of ones then we will get a zero in the last bit and if there are odd number of ones then we will get a 1 in the, for example, if we have 1, 1, 1, so we will get 1, the zor is 1, and if we have 1, 1, 1 here, then we will get 1, 1 in the addition, means the last bit is 1, okay, yeah, so what we are doing is, we are performing, we have n uh, elements of array, a1, a2, a3, up to an, and we have to observe, we have to check one, one thing that, the last bit, if a, if a number has its last bit on, means last bit 1, then that number is considered as odd. All the odd number has its last bit as 1. Okay. So, if there are n odd numbers, if there are n odd numbers in this particular array, there are n odd numbers, then if n is even, if n is even, then the parity of x will not change means if x is odd then y will also be odd 
means x mod 2 is equal to y mod 2. This is what we will do. And if the second case, if n is odd, means there are odd number of odd number. If there are odd number of ones, then the parity is changing. You can see if there are odd number of ones, then you will get a one at the last. Means it will change the parity. If n was odd, then it will change it even. If n was even, it will change to odd. Means the parity of x should not be equal to y. Okay. Now, for example, n is even, so its parity should be equal, but its parity is not equal. Means this x is not what we are taking, so it will be x plus c. Because if x is odd, y should be even. Oh, sorry, y should be odd. If n is even, if n is even, then if x is even, should y will also be even. If x is odd, to y will be odd. But if, for example, we can't change y because y is the final answer. We have to just observe x that if he is he is taking x or he is taking x plus three. That is what we have to check. So if x is even but y is odd, but it should be same. So we will take that. Yeah, it is not allies. It will be Bob who is taking x plus three. It will be Bob. Like that, what we will do. ठीक है? तो अगर ये conditions बन रही हैं, तो allies हैं. नहीं बन रही तो फिर Bob है. क्योंकि हमेशा if x is even then x plus 3 will be odd if x plus 3 is even means if x is odd so x plus 3 is even that's the thing i hope you get it i hope now i will move towards the code part to understand it this more clearly so what i am doing is you can check that i have just checked how many odd numbers are there now if there are even number of odd numbers then their parity should be same So if the parity is same, it's it allies. If the parity is not same, means it is odd. And same for if n is not uh, even, so parity should be different. Otherwise, it is odd. This is a clear cut solution, and I think a simple solution for this problem. I hope you get it. If you find doubt, you can join a Telegram and you can ask your doubt there, or you can comment it down. Also, you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. You can join our Telegram. You can follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. Happy learning. Happy coding.